A bit of backstory. My friend Justin and I are cycling across the USA and we started off the trip in Miami 20 days ago. Initially, we were towing his wheelchair behind him. He was riding his handbike and we had it strapped on with ski straps until we had a catastrophic failure and had to get the wheelchair welded back together. We think it failed because of the vibrations on the road, so we had to switch to a trailer this trailer specifically on the back of my bike to carry all of the stuff. Now we've been having some issues with this trailer because, well for one, it has a sticker on it that says maximum speed 15 mile an hour. In addition to that, the wheelchair doesn't really fit in the trailer very well and we have to put the wheels on top. So the center of gravity is quite high. It was pushing my handlebars all over the place and we had to come up with another solution. In today's episode, we're gonna show you that solution. A new Burly flatbed. I'd like to point out that this trailer was a donation from the fantastic Bucks and Box, or Ed from Bucks and Box. So thank you very much. They're the people that gave me my fantastic box to fly with, and they've donated a trailer to this cause. So thank you, Bucks and Box. I feel like I've said box lots of times. Box, 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 box. box. This does take a lot more capacity, like an extra 30 kilos of weight. Yeah which we need it to. Yeah, and it's got an extra wheel. Doesn't look that strong though. Mm. It doesn't have suspension as well. We don't want suspension. No, I don't think we need suspension. Do you have suspension on your bike? No. Exactly. I think the suspension was the issue. I didn't know you could read. You should be able to There's think you got it. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we'll get the job. Yeah, yes. wheels, wheels are spinning. The really yeah. funny thing that Justin didn't want to admit is that these are the same fitting as his wheelchair wheels, so we could put tiny little wheels on your wheelchair. No. I was just going to check them. It seems a little soft. This way is better. So I went to the shop earlier and we were trying to get some things to help with the journey. So I bought this breathable mask thing. Oh, sweet. So that I don't get uh, stuff in me. And I bought this, which is obviously terrible. You do not shake before or during use. <laughs> that's good. So that's going to get rid of all the dogs. Yeah. And then all the dogs come running. <laughs> so the big difference between this trailer and the old one is that the new one is two wheels, which should mean much more stable. Apparently, you can barely tell you're pulling it as long as you're not going uphill uh, because it's articulated the back. The connection to the bike has a pivot point. So you can ride along, your bike handles like normal, and then you're just pulling the extra weight and it should feel fine. We better test it out. Ready! <laughs> Here's my camera person. Road test number one. Camera people in the golf buggy. Oh, oh, this is the best draft I've had in weeks. Oh, wow. Turn test. Whoa! You can hear your tires squealing. Dog test. Dog test. Oh, they're big ones. They're contained, that's fine. Happy Thanksgiving, boys. Oh, this is so much better. I feel like I could ride this. 2,000 miles. <laughs> Roundabout <laughs> test. In America, they call these circle roads. But that golf cart goes 15 mile an hour. 15, so we're yeah. going faster than that. I don't know what the speed limit is of this it trailer. Doesn't, it had one. doesn't say anything. No, 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 the other one had a speed but, limit, but this one does not. So yeah, you can barely it. notice it. Yeah. Accelerating, yeah. Accelerating, you can feel like, okay, it's, you're pulling a heavy thing, but. Compared to the other one, this is a dream. This is what I mean when I say it's articulated, the right word. It moves independently to the bike. Whereas the one wheel trailer is fixed on both sides of the through axle. So it moves in unison with the bike. This Perfect. is way better. The other trailer, I couldn't film stuff. Yeah. Because it was so, awesome. like the handlebars were being pushed everywhere. So this is going to make the video so much easier to make as well. Perfect. Way better. Truck stability ah. test. This is what it's like on the road to Texas. Big trucks. Feels like a normal bike again. I didn't buy a gun. I bought some playing cards. Not just ordinary playing cards. Feel the edge. Ah. Feel all of the edges. You bought ninja star playing cards? Yeah. Why? So if we get attacked by a cardboard box when we're out riding? I'm gonna f*** it up. 
So as you can see, we are now extremely well equipped for the journey going ahead. We have 27 more days of riding and tomorrow morning, we're gonna continue on the road from Katy, which is just outside of Houston. To finish this episode, Lou has a YouTube channel and she's close to a thousand subscribers. So all of you guys should go to the description down below, donate to get kids going, but also subscribe to Lootube. Lootube, my Lootube. And that some behind, leg better. My, yes, my leg better. And some behind the scenes of these guys the last couple of days. Mainly this. Mainly this. Yeah. <laughs> hey Rob, hmm. 24 hour update on the one chip challenge, please. It's, uh, it's actually a boring update. I feel fine. So no, uh, no issues out. Uh, <laughs> and um, yeah. That's it, so all good. You got two beers? Yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't? Two Christmas beers. Cheers! <laughs>